it's spray painting time. We're gonna do something I haven't done in a while. And to start us off, we're gonna take this real orange and go like so. Mm, it's doing good. There we go. While it's still wet, we're gonna take this desert rose and right up, not where I wanted to, but let's do there. Put that down, take the back of the knuckle and we're gonna go kind of like that. Try and mix it around. All right, now we're gonna hit it with this strawberry field in that red spot. And then I'm gonna use the knuckle again to just tap at it. Hopefully it does what I want. Kinda. Boom for the real orange. Now just muddle it around, muddle it around, come on. Just hoping it wouldn't do that, but it did. All right. Just gonna work at this for a minute. One more of the field. Try and get it blend a bit more. There we go. Now we're gonna let that dry for a second. And hopefully this will do what I want it to. Well, that dries up in this corner where you're gonna come in with a good old colonial red. Get a circle. Quick poof of deep forest right about there. All right, it's been a minute or two and it should be dry enough. We're gonna put this little bottle cap right on that swirl spot. We're gonna take the real orange and spray it outwardly. Desert Rose. Just gonna take the finger and go. Just drag it around. Kind of like that. Strawberry field. Summer squash. See if it'll work properly. Did not do what I wanted it to. And it's, I guess, getting hotter because that's set up way faster than it did just a second ago. This might not work how I wanted it to. We'll see. Great, that's starting to come undone. Okay. Summer squash is a bad idea. We're gonna hit it with strawberry fields again. Try and do it lightly. And then one more time with the orange, if it'll cooperate. Come on. Just with a bit of plastic instead of hand. But I think I might have tried to go a bit too far. Well, it actually kind of looks neat, maybe. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but well, I don't take the cap. Let's try it's a bit more. There we go. I can just lightly get the outer edge with the summer squash without it sputtering and causing me problems. Maybe. Come on. That, that works good enough, hopefully. This idea is fighting me, so I hope it works out good, but we'll see. 
I'll let that dry and take this sterling silver over the metallic red. Colonial red, don't know why I said metallic. Take our texturizer and do it up. Take the deep forest blob with green apple and texturize. Put this here to block the shadow that we put on here. Take our black, the edges, kind of like that. We're gonna put the shadow guard this way. On this one, we're gonna go that dude, that shallow weirdly. About like so. The black's had a moment to set. We're gonna put this on it here. Here, we're gonna put this one like so. Actually, let's bring it back just a little. There we go. That in place. Actually, here, I'm gonna sit this right here, just about. I'm gonna shadow this. A little too heavy on accident. Claire kind of hid things from me. Unfortunate. Put that like so. Hopefully, I don't hit it too hard, this one. There we go. Bottom cap. Put a rock on everything, so hopefully you don't jostle around. Let's put a few smaller rocks, like so, for some space rocks. Opposite side of the shadow, we're going to hit everything with French blue. We're also going to take the blue and just go like so. Now we're going to take Seaside, fix whatever issue that was, and go all around, hopefully. Yeah, it's fighting me, of course. We're going to ink blue. On the shadow side. Now, just a bit of black. A bit too much, but it'll, actually, it works. Like so, now, gently pressurize the heirloom light. Find the right angle for it to do what you want, and Come on. Do I need to come a little farther away? Da, 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 da. Come on. And it's starting to fight me. You can't just get right. Oh, now you're blowing the other way. Great. Right into my face. And just drop the stars where I want you to, please. And you please, why are you not cooperating with me? All right, we're gonna take summer squash. Do a couple poofs. It. Come on. Stars are fighting me today, but I think that works. Not more heavy on smaller flecky stars than I wanted, but oh well. All right, let's see how this turned out. That one? How about? How about? Mm -hmm. How about you? Again, not bad. Asteroids did decently. Now let's see if this worked. No, it did not. Not how I wanted it to anyway. I'm going to have to do something with that with a paintbrush here in a bit, so I'll see you in a couple of hours once that dries good. Many moons have passed. And now we're going to try and fix this. I intended for this to be a kind of gas giant with a red eye of Jupiter type deal going on, but obviously it didn't work. So we're instead going to give it astral acne. 
and turn this into a big old crater and add some more craters. Hopefully that will actually work. We're gonna outline this with some black. And along where the paint's already cracked, we're gonna do so as well. Let's see if we can't get this a little thinner than that. Take a little bit of water. Dried limb and let's kind of go like this. Get some shadows going on in here. Dry that out and use what's here. Doing kind of circular motion. Darken it all. Darken up the center dot. That's too much. Take a paper towel and dab at it. make a smaller circle over here came out too thick so let's give it a dab break it up some yeah let's use this already existing lump to bigger kind of like so try and get it roughly circular dab at it to break it up so we can't get that thinner and then touch out the very edge It's actually already kind of a circle shape right here, so we're going to use it. And another kind of circle shape right here in the paint. Another one over here as well. We'll take our dab towel and hit the edge of all of them. 
break them up a little. Come back and redefine that one. Tad. Let's do right here. And a more overly one right here. Over here. Give them the damage. Smaller one down here where there's already kind of a shape in the paint. Kind of vaguely a shape here as well. And maybe and another one over here. And another one right about there. Dab them before they dry to break them up. Let's do one here. And I think one more like that. Lot them a bit to break them up. All right, take a little bit of black right here on the edge where the paint stuck to the cap and again just like dab at it a little to break it up some not as much as I did though Bring back just a bit more black into there, and there we go. Let's do a drop of scarlet. Drop of orange, or actually, what is this? It is, it is orange. Mix them together, and that pretty much what we want. So just thin out on the brush bit, and we're going to start filling in our craters. Actually take some of that mixture and go in our original hole. Make them more homogenous. Get a bit more color into this one and this one and these ones.
Now I think we're going to come in with a yellow on the edge. Very light loading of it. Just see what that does. Mix a bit of a crater color into that. I don't like it. That's a little too yellowy there, but... I'm just going to actually brush in a bit of that yellow just all over. At least in the lighter area. I'm just going to dab the whole thing with a slightly damp tea towel, I'm not tea towel, slightly damp paper towel. A bit of a twist. Breaks it up some more. Now take some of the orange. The orange and yellow, see if we can't kind of even that out color wise. And take that slightly damp paper towel. Kind of break it up. Now we're going to take a mostly yellow and on that edge where the, I think it was a French blue, overlapped. We're going to come in with some yellow. Just blend it out. On my asteroids, I'm going to take a kind of a light brown, catch one side of them. Mix some black in with it, a little bit more white, medium, like so. Do the other part of the asteroids. Then, 
which dried, take one of the paper towel pieces and blot them. it again. Let's do down here. Oh, it makes them stand out a bit more. Kind of. A bit more of the lighter and do this edge on this one. And just blend it in. Same right here. One more. There we go. This moon didn't get nearly as much shadow as I originally thought it did. So we're gonna give it some. Looks heavy now, but we're gonna come back and do that same blotting thing we were doing just a second ago. And hopefully, yes. Does exactly like we all we wanted it to, for once. Excellent. That that worked nearly perfectly. All right. Don't want to do anything else. Nah, I think that's good. This one ended up looking entirely different than how I intended, and a bit cartoony, but it works. Almost forgot to do a signature. 